church's one foundation is Jesus Christ her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. Elect from every nation, yet one more all the earth. Her charter of salvation, one Lord, one faith, one birth. One holy name she blesses, partakes one holy food, and to one hope she presses with every grace endued. Mid toil and tribulation and tumult of her war, she waits the consummation of peace forevermore, till with the vision glorious her longing eyes are blessed, and the great church victorious shall be the church at rest. Good morning, everyone. We're coming from St. Therese, the Little Flower Church, and Father Kerry Prendeville. Let us pray together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of our Lord Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, the Lord always calls us around this table of the Lord, the community of the faithful, that he might feed us by his word and sacrament. Let's take just a moment to reflect on our lives, confess our sins, and invite his grace and mercy to renew us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest, highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore, we adore you, you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You, you are seated, seated at, at the right hand, hand of the Father. Have, have mercy on us. For, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to all the people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you requested of the Lord your God at Horeb, on the day of the assembly, when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire any more, lest we die. 
And the Lord said to me, this was well said. I will raise up from them a prophet like you from among their kin. And I will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them all that I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name, an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If, if today, today you, you hear, hear his voice, harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If, if today, today you hear his, his voice, harden, harden not your, your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If, if today, today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massah in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If, if today, today you, you hear, hear his, his voice, harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I should like you to be free of anxieties. An unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about the things of the world, how he may please his wife, and he is divided. An unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the Lord, so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit, not to impose a restraint upon you, but for the sake of propriety and adherence to the Lord without distraction. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him, and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. May our sins be washed away the Holy Gospel. Amen. 
In the very beginning of Jesus' ministry, in his first chapter of the Gospel of Mark, Jesus is already binding spirits. He's casting the unclean spirit from a man who'd been bound by that evil. And as he did it, he did it in this context. The evil one was trying to use the man to speak God's name. He said, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus said, quiet. He wouldn't receive that word. He wouldn't receive that praise. Quiet, come out of him. Imagine that man that was possessed by that evil spirit. Having drawn close to people once in a while, he'd be cast into these fits of evil. He was that cast off from his community, from his family. But suddenly one day he comes to the synagogue and he's drawn closer to Jesus. The evil one would not do that. It was the goodness of that man coming to close to Jesus. And then by a mere word, Jesus silences and expels the unclean spirit. He's been thrown to the ground. He's laying there in the dirt. He's laying there with people around him thinking, can this really be true? Do I dare believe it? He is dealing with what the Catholic Catechism says of Satan or the evil one. Satan or the devil and other demons are fallen angels who have freely refused to serve God and his plan. Their choice against God is definitive. They try to associate man and they revolt against God. In the ancient times, we read from the first reading from the book of Deuteronomy that Moses was said, a prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you. A prophet who can speak with authority, a prophet who can return the hearts of his people to their God, a prophet who can uh, cast out evil and draw us to good. And that is what Jesus represents for all of Israel, for the whole saving history the promise fulfilled by God the Father, an oracle that was commanded to speak in order to silence evil and death. Brothers and sisters, there are three things we can do to respond to this gospel. First, stay close to Christ. Even with the burden of the unclean spirit, this man drew closer to Jesus, probably against every instinct his spirit and body were telling him. But he came close to him, and in prayer, Jesus expelled that selfishness and all the selfish tendencies spreading lies and half-truths. He'll do the same for us. Confession is a marvelous gift of truth. As we stay close to that truth, that's the second thing we must do, remain and stay close to the truth. We will give up selfish ways, manipulative ways of the evil one, and will grow in charity. And growing in charity means we'll have a greater responsibility towards others and we'll have deeper communion with them. Which leads us to the third thing we can do in response to this gospel. Stay close to others who are in need. Soon we'll be drawn into the season of Lent. The devil is a lord of selfishness. Christ is a lord of love. When we stay close to the needs of others, when we resist our own selfishness by serving others, whatever their need may be, we weaken the devil's influence in our lives. If we express humility in our actions, meekness in our heart, we calm the desires of our own heart in order to let them cleave to the desires of God and God's will for us, we remain close to him. May Jesus, who casts out evil, draw us all closer to his own heart, beating with charity for his people.
together, <clears throat> let us stand and profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, Father, the Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, earth of all things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Holy Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who has spoken and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we place these petitions before your holy throne. For the church, that authoritative teachings of Jesus will guide and challenge us as we seek to be more authentic disciples. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For members of the diocese, that each of us may seek God first in our lives and love others with the love with which God first loves us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For students, faculty, and staff of Catholic schools during National Catholic Schools Week, that the Spirit will guide them in growing in faith, offering outstanding education, and serving in love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For peace that God will impel leaders to a deeper dialogue that will promote safety and development for all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For healing and strength, that God will heal the sick and sustain all who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, that Christ may welcome them and give them the fullness of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, you know our many needs, you know our hearts. Hear and answer these prayers through Christ, your Son, and our Lord. Amen. 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 Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may Lord, the Lord accept, accept the, the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. 
For you laid the foundations of the world, and you've arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed a man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world and all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he's betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With confidence in our God, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now and forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, unity, and accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you, take you take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Grant, Grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, my but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your merciful love. O oh Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.